need your little boy blue coming at ya. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I just had a very large piece of leftover pepperoni pizza in my bed and it made me feel very happy. I'm glad we talked about this. I don't like keeping things from you. It's nice to get that off of my greasy, greasy little chest. Today I'm going to be testing out as seen on TV products. If that sounds fun to you, stick around. If it doesn't, literally, I don't give a damn F. I'll throw a pink cup at you until you die. I'm also going to change my shirt right now because honestly, this one is sweaty already. Like, it's kind of gr My tummy looks weird. Hello. Do you love it? It's kind of fancy pants, but I like it. I got this at the store. It was $30, but I saw it on the shelf, and I was like, if I wear this in public, people will like me. Also, I just remembered I had a super long dream about Obama, and he was so nice. This is called the Simply Straight, the brush that straightens hair. Simply Straight, which does not describe me, by the way. I've been thinking about boys a lot recently. We'll get into that in another video, maybe. So yeah, the straightens your hair. Little fact about me, I used to straighten my hair every morning before school for like three years, and it took me a while before somebody told me that you're not not supposed to do it while your hair is wet. I used to literally take a shower, come out, straighten my hair, and it would be like and I'd be like, ooh, it's working. I mostly got this because the girl in the box looks so happy with her purchase. Also, I know it's supposed to be like she's only halfway done with her hair, but honestly, I love this look. Like, if I saw this girl at a party, I'd be like, girl, get over here. What is your name? You are weird as hell. I'm gonna call you half and half. Apparently, it heats up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. That number doesn't really mean anything to me besides the fact that I know it's 50 degrees hotter than a DiGiorno pizza takes to cook, and man, are those things toasty. Okay, I picked my strand. This is one of my favorites. Go, team, go! Okay, I no, no, no. Okay, why not? Hi, no, it doesn't work. Oh, it does, I'm hot. Honestly, I love my new look. What up, y'all? The name's Spanky. Welcome to Vape Nation. That product frustrated me, but you know what doesn't frustrate me? Games on my phone. I have to legally tell you that this next segment is sponsored by the game Best Fiends, which means they gave me money. Best Fiends is a puzzle battle game, and honestly, I like it. Like, I would tell you I liked it even if I didn't like it, honestly, but, like, I like this. It's this game where you, like, create teams, and you have to defeat these giant slugs, and as you guys know, I hate slugs. It could change your life. Look. Hey, man, how are you doing? Honestly, man, not good. I'm doing really badly. I can't stop eating cake. Look, man, can I say something? Yes, man, just say it. Stop being a coward. Calm down. Okay, sorry. Do you like cute characters? Yeah, Jose, you know I do. That is not my name. My name is Randy, and you know that. Look, man, I'm having a really hard time over here. Can you not question me? Listen, man, just hear me out. Best Fiends has new levels. There's a new quest for fan favorite character, Gene. It opens at level 100, and if you beat him, you get gold and diamonds, dude. Are you serious, dude? Yeah, man, I am. Guys, I'm kidding, it's me, Drew. Download Best Fiends in the description box below, and if you play on July 10th, you get a free gift. And I wouldn't lie to you, again, guys, download the game, and thank you, Best Fiends, for giving me money. And this is called the Hover Ball. Do you love playing with balls but spheres overwhelm you? Well, check this out, it's only half, and that's diameter, baby. I paid attention in geometry. Actually, I didn't. My teacher hated me so much, and one time I wrote it on a note, I was like, she hates me, and I gave it to my friend, but then she found it, and she was like, I hate you, and I was like, do you? She didn't tell me. It's supposed to like actually levitate a little bit, which like sounds cool, but like I've been gypped by Hover products before. There used to be all these commercials when I was little that'd be like, it's the Hover Disc, it levitates 700 feet, You're cat can jump on and ride it to the moon and then like you get it and it's just like a paper plate it says it glides on most surfaces i wonder which surface it doesn't glide on honestly for me as long as it glides on my three favorite surfaces which is number one hardwood floors number two kitchen countertops because that's where the pizza's at and number three titty chests boobs all right let's get hovering it went under my bed and i don't feel like getting it called Naked Nails, the electronic manicure tool. I like the idea of this because it makes your nails look beautiful. I've always had kind of a mixed relationship with my nails. Like sometimes people will see them and be like, ooh, nice nails, buddy. And other times people will see them and be like, ah, they're so long, witch, it's a witch. My first complaint with this product is that it didn't come with batteries. That's very elitist to me. We don't all have double A's lying around the house. Of course I did because I'm a vlogger. That's what we do. But the other people out there, the normies, you never know. Also, I just noticed this. I love how it says natural, shiny nails. I'm not an expert on the word natural or anything, but I don't think you achieve natural looking nails by like rubbing a vibrator on your cuticles. So the first step is file. Let's do this. Go! I kind of like this actually. It's very like aggressive. It kind of feels like I'm being punished for being a bad boy. The second step is buff. I'm familiar with that word because uh, you know, 
I um, knew a guy who was buff once and he was really sweet. He wore this big red shirt with an S on it and I asked him one time, what does that mean? He said, Skittles, I love Skittles. I was like, this is not how I expected you to act, but like, I love you, can I give you a hug? I was like, can I get, he was like, yes, I'm a hugger, dude. And I was like, Argh. buff me, baby. And now it's time to do what I do best, shine. It's shine time. <laughs> That actually looks really good. I don't know if you guys can see this right now. I should have like a meetup or something. We can all like meet at a park or something just so you guys can see this. You can all just like take a nice gander at that because that looks good as shit. This is called Foot Bubbles. I don't know who this guy is. Maybe he's famous. He looks very angry. Cheer up, buddy. We're kicking bubbles over here. It's not boot camp. Like turn that grimace upside down, dude. Like he looks like he's on the poster for like a movie about the mob. And he's so prominently featured. Like did they think this was gonna be attractive to kids? Like mommy, I don't know who that man is, but he's very very intensely staring at me and I trust him. I'd like some foot bubbles. But that being said, I'm willing to risk it because like who doesn't want to kick some bubbles? Me, actually, now that I think about it. Why did they make this? No one needs that. Let's bubble, baby. Okay, I may have just realized that these socks are meant for small children and I am not that. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Wait, okay, that counts. I'm done. It's stupid. It's, it's a... And then he slipped. These are called zip socks. They're like weird socks. Apparently they're like actually kind of serious and for people with like foot problems or something, it says it enhances blood circulation. But honestly, I saw them on the shelf and I was like, I would look good in these. And honestly, I'm just kind of always looking for an excuse to show you guys my pretty little feet. Okay, so far zip socks are turning out to be a little overwhelming for me, mostly because I have such hairy legs, but like each piece of hair means something different to me. And like I treasure all of them separately. And like I don't want, God forbid, something to happen to one of them because I would sue zip socks. Zip socks, if you're watching this, I want you to know I will come for you. Cowabunga! Okay, I'm gonna throw the other zip sock on and let's do a dance. One, two, three. Welcome to the carnival, have some fun. We've got popcorn waiting for you. Kettle corn, cheese corn, take your pick. Where's my dad? Where's he at? Where's he at? Calling attention to the carnival, Drew Monson is lost. Ba -da -ba -bop. Okay, I think that's the end of my video. I hope you liked my video. I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good life because baby, I am out of here. I'm kidding. I'll probably make videos for like four or five more years, maybe. Anyway, anyway, thank you for watching. And as always, leave me a fucking comment because I, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I'm very lonely. Bye. I want to tell you guys something, and I don't know how many of you guys are like younger out there, but let me just say, and I know I seem like kind of a sad person sometimes, but overall, I just want to tell you that